we have seen that the author of Genesis 1 adapts mythological ideas about creation and revises them in light of his religious conceptions. Some scholars believe that the Bible here goes even farther. There is one case in which the biblical story seems to protest against the ancient myth. Verse 21 says, And God created the great Taninim, and all the living creatures of every kind that moves, which the waters brought forth in swarms after their kind, and all the winged birds of every kind. The Hebrew word taninim, in singular tanin, refers to a dangerous reptile, usually some type of snake. But it is very unusual for Genesis 1 to mention a specific animal, Elsewhere, it refers only to general species, all the trees, all the birds, all the fish, and so forth. So why does the creation of the specific animal tanin deserve a special mention? According to Enuma Elish, when Tiamat fought against Marduk, she was assisted by an army of mythological sea creatures. Enuma Elish itself does not mention the tanin among the helpers of Tiamat. But other ancient sources, which we will discuss soon, refer to the Tanin as a sea monster who took part in the great battle against the god. Kasuto remarks on this point. Here too, it would seem, the Torah intended to sound a protest. In the countries of the East generally, all sorts of legends used to be recounted about the battles of the great gods against the sea dragon and similar monsters. The Torah is entirely opposed to these myths. It voices its protest in its own quiet manner, relating, so God created the great sea monsters. It is though, though the Torah said in effect, far be it from anyone to suppose that the sea monsters were mythological beings opposed to God or in revolt against him. They were as natural as the rest of the creatures and were formed in their proper time and in their proper place by the word of the Creator, in order that they might fulfill his will like the other created beings. It is interesting to mention that a similar interpretation of the Taninim was already suggested hundreds of years ago. The medieval Jewish commentator Ramban did not know, of course, about Enuma Elish, but he was familiar with stories of the ancient Greeks depicting ancient sea creatures, and he sensed that this verse presents a polemic against such mythological ideas.